Okay, hello and welcome back, everybody. Now, when we last left off, we'd had Briserve receive some th fairly worrying news that the Russians are sending T-80s at us. And, uh, uh there they are. Um, I'm a little worried about them. But things are going well on all the other fronts. The, uh, the enemy's armored forces at the front line have been reduced to basically nothing, and the only thing we have to worry about now is helicopters. And, uh, our, uh, marine forces are going to be in position at this turn. Here. We're going to send them into Vladivostok, and that'll be our second battle for the day. And they have all of the naval support in the world, which I will now refit. Since I figured out what the hell that button does! Yay, look, I'm learning! See, unfortunately, this is the second time I'm gonna have to do this stretch of missions because the game crashed. Oh well. I will save Madoka eventually. Or in this case, China. I guess I'm Mulan today. But, we move our units into position and go at this fight. One thing I believe that we need is some kind of anti... Some kind of dedicated anti-air. We need anti-air. However, our... Our situation for, uh... Taking out the enemy is, uh... Becoming a little, uh... Difficult. As all of this modern anti-air and... Air power are flying around. So, uh, we're going to have to do what we can. Uh, where can I put these guys down? If I actually selected the damn things. Alright, here. Pull them in over here. And they'll be supporting our attack. Even though, uh, planes against helicopters is not exactly the best option. But, uh, they don't have any anti-air. So, we should be able to cause some damage this way. Alright, let's get to these battles. Oh, wait. No, what am I doing? I almost ended the turn again. God damn. Sorry. I'm a bit of a mess this morning. And that crash earlier today was not helping. Okay. Now, we're facing mostly infantry and helicopters. A few armored support units on the ground, but we've got enough units to take them out as well. So, let us begin. Okay, our major concern is going to be taking out those fucking helicopters, so we're going to call in as many airplanes as we possibly fucking can. Just fucking... Just rack that shit up. As for our ground units, Stinger missiles basically everywhere. I wanted to put him down. I wanted to click on the thing. There we go. Okay. Clicky, clicky. Command vehicle over there. Command vehicle over here. Also, additional uh, additional stinger missiles here and here. Now, most likely our major form, our major armored engagement is going to take place in this area here. So this is where we're going to concentrate our tanks, which we are running out of. But we will we will uh, we we will subsist on these meager restitutions. Anti-air is well, we we need more anti-air, so we're going to call in the anti-air. Though the uh, I've used these in battle; they uh, th th essentially they are ZSU 57s, but um, they're not terribly reliable. Now our. Um... Now, as I do this, I remember the other flank, because I am dense. I will move these units over here. And then... Where's the recon unit? There it is. Oh, God damn it! I'm five points short. No, oh, get rid of these guys. And recon units. And then... Call in as many tanks as I... Well, I did one extra tank up there. Hopefully the air power will be enough to actually support these units. Bring us down to slow. And that should be enough to go. Well, 
chairman is watching. Okay. Unload these units. Unload these units. Send this unit up here to uh, its normal lookout position. He he owns this territory. Move that guy over there, and we're going to move our armored units over to this position here. With our recon unit going here and turning all of his guns off. Same with you, mister. That, that gun on the back is for show. Now, that should secure most of our, uh... Most of our problems. We'll call in more planes because we're just we're we're going to throw planes at those helicopters. It, it is unavoidable. We are just going to start hurling planes at Heinz because we don't really have a very effective anti-air deterrent against them unless they fly directly over our SAM nets or our Stinger nets, rather. Oh, what are you still doing in your? Oh. Well, I seem to have lured an enemy command vehicle into this position. Ha 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 ha! Well, maybe it does pay to wait. Now, if the BNP will actually hit the damn target, that would be actually fantastic. And those are helicopters! Call them in! Call in everything! No one gets out! No one gets out! If you would all- if someone would actually hit the damn target, it would be fantastic. Ugh. Okay, one, one hit the target. One of them. No kills. Are you fucking kidding? Guys! Okay, guys! Holy Jesus H fucking Christ. I send the entire goddamn air wing at them and they don't get a single fucking kill! Good! You got the command vehicle! One thing went right, I'm still going to lose basically all of my tanks. God damn it. Alright, fine, we're just gonna call in more of them. These are veteran tanks and I'm just lining up here to die. That's unfortunate. Get your asses in there. Fucking get fucking. Consider this target practice. This guy. I want the command vehicles dead. Kill the command vehicles. Also, that's grand. Get the damn command vehicle! Shoot him down! Holy hell. It's a, pr a procession of MiG-21s that can't do fucking anything. The Stinger missiles are probably going to do more. Good. Fantastic. You've got the kill. Now get rid of the rest of the goddamn Heinz. This is like a- this is a fucking circus up here. Can you guys actually get the job done? Good. Fantastic. I'm happy. The chairman is pleased. Do you all need to get your asses out there? And get the fuck out of there. You're all out of fucking fuel. Get the fuck back in the base, fill up, try to fucking get. We're losing planes! Well, actually, no, we're losing tanks. The planes are fucking fine. 
The chair force is operating at peak efficiency. And by peak efficiency, I mean not hitting shit. Jesus H fucking Christ, guys. They're standing right there. And you can't do a damn thing to stop them. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking get him. Okay, we seem to have gotten one of them. Oh, okay! Fantastic! We got enough kills! Fucking Fontoman's flying circus actually managed to accomplish something. Okay, so what did act? What did. They only got three kills! I sent oh, literally a wall of planes at them, and they only got three kills! Huh. You know, this reminds me of a story my grandfather used to tell- well, they told me once. Um, he was in the Air Force in the 50s, and he was stationed in England. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the training wing, wing over there, if I remember correctly, they were F-100s. They had a, a Canberra training target, or target tower, and, uh, according to him, the F-100 pilots were so terrible that they never actually hit the damn targets. <laughs> it seems we're having a repeat of that in another land. Well, we made it. We still lost absolutely... Uh, we, uh, that was a lot of losses there for not a whole lot of gain, but we still managed to beat them back. Uh, well, we did kill some Spetanaz in there, too. Jesus. Very nice. At least at least there's that. They didn't send any tanks at us, though. But we did manage to knock out two of their helicopters and two of their, uh, their helicopter command vehicles. Which I suppose is okay. Alright. No smashing successes yet, but we'll get there. <laughs>